Welcome to my Azure Moon walkthrough. The save. We'll I'll cover the saving Dare battle here. We'll skip over these scenes. Now, as you might expect, if you you may have played in this map if you played the Sword and Shield of Ceres par paralogue with Alois and Shamir. But this is going to be a very different map, primarily because, well, the objectives are different. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up. Should have done that earlier. But this will prevent my units from getting unnecessarily distracted. You can take a max of 11 units with you. Don't worry too much about my choice of adjutants. And always take a look at the map. No surprise here. It's a sea of Imperial soldiers. Something very important to note is that this by this guy, a mortal savant, taking the center stage in the map, he's not the enemy commander in here. Enemy commander is Arundel, who is right here. He is also a dark knight. Be aware of that. On the right, you'll have the alliance. It doesn't look like a lot, to be honest. They have one alliance general, a soldier, Another soldier, who is the healer, and Claude. At the very, very edge of the town is Judith, who you will remember seeing from the cutscene. Uh, that's out of the way. Let's begin. The victory conditions are to defeat the enemy commander. Your defeat conditions are a little bit extra now. All of your units fall in battle, or Claude falls in battle. The leader of the alliance... <laughs> Will not look. Hey, you're late. Hurry up. Now there's... I remember why I pointed at Arundel earlier, and that's because, remember, he's the commander. Not this guy. Although, you have to take out this Imperial Soldier if you want to gain a favorable foothold on this map. Now, Claude will have some pretty good solid defenses for now, but as you might expect, this won't hold. So the objective here is to get to him as soon as possible. There's no turning back. Leave it. And have everyone move up. I am prepared. I will break. <laughs> More proof of my loyalty. I'm impressed. Onward. What's the plan? <laughs> Burn until we meet again. Do be aware of everyone's health on this map. I know that sounds incredibly obvious, but I'm your girl. it's very easy to get distracted. I owe you one. Also, remember unit attack range by pressing ZR. I'll cut through. You don't want to recklessly overextend yourself, especially because, if you've seen the map, there are a lot of enemy units. I fight. And they will not hesitate to jump in and kill you if you're being I'd stupid. Be Please don't be stupid. Ready when you are. More fighting. Now you'll see that the Alliance General is actually a really strong warrior from him, from this. All for our future. She can take quite the beating. Judith, Judith, Let's go. Eh, Judith is going to get attacked. However, as you might guess, all the units are converging on that general. And reinforcements appear. Subjugation of Daredevil. Ah, nothing for it. 
Now, this is one of the reasons why you can't just sit back and... And let Claw... And just not worry about Claude anymore. Unfortunately... No matter how strong that Alliance General is, it can't hold the line forever. I know it sounds unrealistic, but it's actually quite true. If you make no effort to protect Claude... It's gonna cut... It's gonna bite you in the butt. Threat eliminated. Two's gonna come up. Here is something to I must lead them well. Reassuring. Now I'm actually not going to worry about the reinforcements coming in as of this moment. A, because I'm on normal casual difficulty and I say so, and B, because you can't forget that the target was Lord Arundel. Of course, priorities. I've got to at least protect Judith in some capacity. Oops. I'm not very good at moving. A net right now. Whatever. You're a big help. My units are strong enough to avoid being seriously hurt. But of course, that's not really a situation you ever want to put yourself into. Lucky threat. Knew you could do it. I'll back Judith up. Keep everybody up. And the reinforcements will start making their way towards. Don't worry about this right now because there was no way you could have made it to the Alliance General in two turns. Not even Ingrid or any other flyer you have could possibly make it that quick. It's just not possible. Let's go. Not trying to be crit unnecessarily critical, it's just no matter how you play, you don't have that move speed. That archer is really fragile. Now, of course, that general will hold the line, but if you're too slow, reinforcements will flood in, and they will... Thank you. That Take out the help. general and the archer. And All right, Judith. Judith is safe now. I can't pronounce that name. Judith. Judith is safe, so she'll now make her way towards the reinforce the alliance. Shall I say camp? And while that's the case. I'm going to have Ingrid intercept the flyers. Don't worry too much about the knights here. Yeah, they've got some pretty sweet stuff, but... If you're trying to finish, finish the mission as quickly as possible, they're not the concern. Now, if you have to drag this out for any reason, you'll want to get to these three gates. Put a unit on there and block them off. In this case, we can't really afford to... We can... <gasps> For it to not care. My loyalty. I'll draw in some of that fire. I swear it wasn't in vain. I'll take the center of the map, which will give me the positioning I need. It's much better. For Sylvain to get there. Because Sylvain actually has powerful fighting skills. Whereas Annette is mostly just for magic. She'll be in range, so I'll move her to the side. Ash will keep coming up the rear. Dorothy will follow behind. All my healers follow behind as well. Let's just take this chance. To heal to do. He had a little bit of a heal earlier, but 
Never hurts to be cautious. Clever. I can't. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. There's no turning back. Now this is that is an actually important statement. That is a, an important statement. Because the moment Arndell says that, he will stop standing where he is and now begin moving to the harbor. That's not very adv advantageous for you because he's got better positioning than you do and it's very unlikely you're going to catch him if you go around the other way. Next, I shall not stray. Judith is never going to make it in time for it to matter unless you're holding off the forces. So in this case, to make things significantly easier, and hopefully Arundel will attack me, I'll move Byleth that way. Moving forward. Dimitri. Take out the annoying archer. Take me if you must. I'll have Felix. And Dorothea. For a change. Take out those two knights. Or... Net can move. We'll have her use Excalibur actually. That's it had to be done. Tense. I can't. I will also follow that up with Flame. We'll get a little bit of action. They said Looking good. I will now actually reposition to do. I'm going to have some people start taking the forts just in the event this takes a bit longer than it needs to. Shouldn't, but in, in a game like this, never never act as if everything's going according to plan. It was the only way. And I'm going to have Sylvain just bide his time right here. Ingrid could fly. But why not? I'll have her take out those two enemy remaining enemies. Nothing bites so hard. In the name of Do our hopes end? And I got a lucky kill because Ash got a lucky critical. Uncle, I need to know. You know you are and that is the Saving Dare Drew walkthrough in a nutshell. Don't worry too much about the speed. Claude's defenses will hold out a lot longer than you think they will. Make your way towards Arundel, but inch your way slowly if you have to. Rescue Judith, because she's going to be a big help, especially if you're on lower levels. And if reinforcements get too much, take any of those three gates. Otherwise... Don't worry too much about losing Claude, because if his Alliance army dies, or his small contingent in the upper right corner dies, he was basically gone anyway, so you can't really defend him. Just cut down the units, and eventually Arundel will come into range and attack you. You won't get, probably won't get as lucky as I did with Ash, but who knows? Take him out with Dimitri or the main character, Byleth. That is the walkthrough in a nutshell. If you like this video, please do subscribe. There will be more videos like this in the future. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.